and just headed up to elk camp here uh, driving got about an hour and a half two hours left on the drive uh, going up solo this weekend so i'm gonna do my best try to film it uh, my last weekend i didn't make it up here at all for uh, my cow tag area so i hope i can get something done packed out and the freezer full of good meat so i'll check in later hopefully i'll have something on the ground Some breakfast made up. Uh, it's about 5:30. Um, Got to use the backpacking stove because it's cold enough that the propane in the furnace isn't working. Luckily, we got some electric heaters, but looks like it's boiling. Take some water and oatmeal. Coffee. Gotta have my coffee. Right. We'll get packed up the rest of the way and then we'll get get going and see if we can glass them up first thing this morning. Alright, just got the truck loaded, 6 o'clock on the dot, about 15 miles over to where we want to be glassing at first light. So, get over there, hope we can glass an elk right away in the morning, get after her, get her down, get her packed out by myself by the end of the night. So, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Just got to my glass and look out here. Took about 45 minutes of driving. It's only 15 miles. The roads out here aren't that great, but uh, yeah, we're gonna wait here. Not quite sunrise yet. Can't really see. The sun's just coming up right there. It's gonna be kind of hard. We're gonna be glassing into the sun first thing this morning, but hope I can pick them up quick. Um, so yeah, we'll see what happens here. Got, just got out of the truck. Uh, we're gonna go walk up, probably be four or five mile hike just to get to where they're at. Hopefully, I can glass on the way and see them so I can make a move. But kind of going in blind, I couldn't see nothing up on top. I didn't want to waste any more time glass. I just wanted to get up there, so we'll see what we can get done here. Beautiful morning so far. All right, I'm recording this on my phone because the batteries for the camera died. I didn't bring any extra batteries, don't know what I was thinking. But I just spooked up two little bulls coming up over this hill. Turned on the camera to film them, it said low batteries and shut off, so. I'm gonna do my best with my phone. We'll see what happens. Um, yeah, I got my blood pumping for sure. I thought it was a nice big cow, but two little bulls. So, I just walked another probably 50 yards from where I saw those spooked them bulls up. And I glassed this big, huge drainage right here. And uh, I glassed them elk way up. I can't tell if they are cows or not. I don't have a spotting scope. So I'm just gonna keep walking, try to get close enough to see. Cross your fingers, this could be it. All right, so I walk another maybe 50 yards again. And I come up and there's a herd of elk sitting right over here. 11 bulls, no cows in that one. So, and then I got up and walked a little bit farther. There's two elk going this way in front of me. I can't tell what they are yet. Uh, and then I got those ones I saw first over there. So this could get interesting. All right, I just sat down, eating some snacks here. Just looking at this big country, see some deer that Heard of bulls up over there. Uh, 23 bulls today I've seen before 8.30. So, yeah, a lot of bulls in here. No cows yet. 
but I'm just gonna keep walking till I see a cow. You know, if I'm too far back to not shoot it, I don't shoot it, you know? I just wanna see a cow. I wanna know they're in here. So I'm gonna finish up these snacks, I'm gonna get walking again. Sitting here, what seems like the top of the world. And I don't know what happened. The elk were coming straight this way. I had to get through some gnarly stuff to get up here. And they're just they're gone. I don't know if they're bedded down in some of this stuff right here. Or if they tricked me and I, they came in around behind me and walked right where I was sitting before. So I don't know. I think I'm gonna sit right here, glass some of this, eat some snacks. I'm freezing cold now because I was sweating because I ran to try and cut them off. So I'm drenched in sweat. But still having fun met my goal I saw some cows that's what I wanted to do so let's just see if we can shoot one just sat down started cooking some lunch um, got a mountain house oh, it's chilly when you stop like I said before I'm just I was been sweating so bad so I was wet I got this little down kind of fake down jacket from Walmart for 20 bucks. I always keep my pack and it does me good. I'll tell you what. Um, about seven miles for the day and I'm gonna be at least seven miles out. So pretty tired. I sit down for probably an hour, eat this lunch, refuel. But uh, yeah. Let's see. Didn't ever see them out again, so I don't know where they went. Chunks in there, but I'll be alright. So, let that sit for about 10 minutes and we'll have some nice, good lunch. Alright, just got down to the bottom here. Probably got half a mile into the truck or so. Had a day. Roller coaster of emotions today. Started off feeling really good, then saw. 23 bulls in total today which that was fun and then got on the other side and saw those or kind of didn't see nothing else so I was kind of feeling down again and out of nowhere those cows started running right at me pretty much and uh, so I was jittered jacked up on that and running after them and uh, I don't know what happened there. They just kind of disappeared on me. I did not do something right. I think they just went down to that thick, nasty stuff. But I don't know. Oh, it's been a long walk back. But I got a sandwich calling my name. <laughs> just got back into the truck here. I don't know what to say about today. Still in loss of what those elk even did. So I don't, I don't know. I'm gonna hunt my way out of here. Uh, can't shoot deer in the CMR. That closed last weekend. But there's a little bit of stuff on the way back to the camp where I can hunt. I still got two hours of light left. So 
Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna come back in here in the morning because I'm by myself. And if I shoot something in here, it's gonna be a long day packing it out, so I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. But I don't know, we'll see. I tried hard, worked my butt off today, but uh, couldn't close the deal. So what do you do?